A garter tab cast on is very useful when you are making a shawl that is worked from the center of the neck out. It eliminates, it, it just helps create a, a smoother um, center there. I like to do my garter tab cast on using Judy's magic cast on. It's kind of combo and I'll show you how to do that. So Judy's magic cast on, you start with both your needles held together like this. You're going to take the tail of your yarn and you're gonna drape it over the back needle with the tail away from you, just like that. Tail's off here. And then you're simply going to twist it. So now the, the, th the tail is, in, is at my thumb and the ball yarn is in between my two forefingers. The forefinger wraps the bottom yarn, the bottom needle, and the thumb wraps the top needle. So we already have the top needle wrapped. So now forefinger yarn goes over bottom needle, thumb yarn goes over top needle and in between. You can hold them a little spaced out if that helps. Forefinger goes over bottom needle, thumb goes over top needle. I just need one more for the bottom because I only need three per stitch, I mean per needle for a nine stitch garter tab cast on. I am simply going to twist my yarn here. You see that? I'm just twisting it, nothing fancy. And then I'm going to pull this tail out of my way. I'm going to tension my yarn and I'm going to flip my tips. So we're going to pull the bottom needle and we're going to first work seven rows. So just of these three stitches, not we're not going all around and working all of the stitches. We're just doing seven rows of these three stitches. Now the yarn can get a little jumbly and uh, it's going to be okay because in the end, these needles will be you're going to be knitting straight so you don't have to worry about any like twists or anything as long as you're not going through your cable and wrapping around there but if you just kind of think about it and with some practice you can kind of wrangle them a little better i am now on row two so what i do is i just kind of hold everything together and turn it as one that, that's what helps me. So then this is three. This is the seventh row. I am not going to turn my work after this row. I wanna make sure that my piece is flat at this point in case the needles have twisted or spun around or anything like that. You can't, this, is, this is the time when you wanna kind of get things back in order. So you've now I'm working my seventh row and I'm going to put these back three stitches onto my left needle. And then you see you have these nice one, two, three ridges. It's kind of hard to see, but you see there are these two kind of loops that are spilling into this bottom horizontal one. Go under the horizontal boot loop and knit into that. So here again, well, it looks a little different, but it's this horizontal loop. Oh, I'm splitting my foot. Oh, it's not, I'm lying. And you can sort of tell it's this bottom horizontal loop. And I'll show you the difference. So here we open it up and see how it's pulling on this really weirdly? That's not good. We don't want that. I mean, it's not the end of the world, but it's not what we're going for. I am splitting this yarn to something awful right now. So I apologize. There we go. So see how it kind of actually looks like a stitch. It's not pulling weird or anything. That's the, what you're going for. That's the one you're picking up. And last but not least, this bottom bar there, I believe is the one. I, uh, this is not yarn fresh off of the skein, so it's clearly splitting and I'm having some difficulties. I apologize for the messiness. We're gonna get it though. Yep, we got, oh, whoa. <laughs> I'm losing my other stitches. Okay, let's go for this uh, one more time. Calm and cool. If 
I had pointier needles, that might have been a little easier, but it also could have split even worse. But I got it. My final third. And then now we're simply going to knit these three. These first two are twisted because of the um, nature of Judy's magic. I will simply knit through this back leg and this stitch will untwist. And now I'm gonna t just give a little tiny, delicate little tug to this tail. And now I'm gonna slide these onto the middle cable so that I can show you when I start working across my shawl and as this starts to grow, this is going to be a nice flat edge and it's going to flow really nicely in with my garter, uh, garter edge along my neck. So that is the how to do a nine stitch garter tab cast on using Judy's magic cast on. I hope you find this useful and uh, happy knitting.